In this video, I will discuss the new enhancements included in the new SAFE version 21.00. Let's take a look at the new enhancements. Detailing of concrete and steel structures, as well as the production and management of schematic design drawings, is now available from a new detailing menu inside SAFE. As well as detailed reinforcement from beams and slabs can be exported from SAFE to Autodesk Revit through the CSI Cross Revit 2013 plugin. Also, in design, tributary PT tendons are now accounted for by that element design. Output and display updates for cracked section modifiers for beams and floor objects. Two new codes have been included, AS4100 2020 steel frame design, as well as Eurocode 4 2004 composite column design is now included. Some updates to output and display, cracked section modifiers for beams and floors, are available in the database tables, as well as nonlinear shear material state status output. General wall hinges can be accessed from the database tables as well. Let's see how to access the detailing in the new SAFE program. You'll need to first run the analysis. After the design has been run, to access the detailing, click Detailing, Concrete Detailing, Start Beam Detailing Check. This opens up the Beam Detailing Editor. Beam Detailing Editor are useful for editing rebar, view rebar quantities, edit labels, etc. If the user expands his parent node, multiple child nodes can be opened such as supports, spans, and sections. This section is very interactive as the user can see the changes being made instantly in the detailing view. So let's take a look at one of these. If we take a look at a support, if I zoom in here, you can see that support has been highlighted. We can make changes to that support by updating the bar size and you'll notice everything changes instantaneously, as well as a number of bar sizes. We can take a look at different beam views, elevations, as well as rebar profiles and Multiple sections can be viewed here as well. Okay, now let's take a look at some slab detail. We'll click OK. Next, we need to go to Detailing, Concrete Detailing, Start Slab Mat Footing Detailing Check. Similar to the detailing for beams, detailing for slabs are useful for updating rebar, viewing rebar quantities, as well as editing labels. So if we take a look at some rebars and strips or similar rebar, we can take a look at the specific layers, supports, as well as bars. If I right click CSA1, that's the name of the strip, I can edit slab rebar. If I zoom in here a little bit, we can take a look at a specific strip as well as the rebar associated with it. I'm going to open up this rebar editing tool a little bit and you can see the layout. For strip number one, shown here above, here is the support, here is the span, support two, span two. We can make changes to the spacing as well as the bar size, which will be updated automatically. As you can see, as well, as updating longitudinal bars, spacing for different portions of the strip. All the general information is located here on the left-hand side, including the strip layer, design type, geometry, and all the quantities associated with this strip. You could do the same thing for multiple supports, different strips, as well as updating the rebar as well. There are many different views available to the user. We can take a look at the slab object, a layout plan, plan top and bottom bars, or a plan that shows all the bars top and bottom all at once, as well as rebar profiles for strips in different directions, Detailing Editor is a very useful tool allowing the user to make changes to the rebar 
quite simply. Specific information regarding the detailing editor can be accessed by hitting the F1 key, which will bring up the help associated with the detailing editor. This will go through all the navigation for the editing windows, as well as explanations for all the items included in the editor. Once we click OK, this brings us back to the Safe program. Let's take a look at how we can take this model and export it from Safe to Autodesk Revit with the use of the CSI Cross Revit 2023. So we've ensured that the analysis and design have been run as well as the detailing. Next, if we go to File, Export, Revit Structure EXR file, we'll give the model a name and the export.exr file form pops up, it gives the user complete control as to what they wish to have exported to this EXR file. In this case, we have some grid lines, slabs, columns, beams, there's some load patterns, as well as beam and slab reinforcement. We'll click OK to generate the EXR file. Next, let's open up Revit. Once the CSI Cross Revit program has been properly installed, You'll notice if you go to the add-ins menu under external tools, there are four different options. Today, we're going to be importing to create a new Revit project from Safe. We'll select the safe.exr file that we had just exported. Next, this import from Safe to create Revit project form pops up. This allows the user to select what they wish to have imported. In this case, columns, the structural framing, floors, there are no walls in this specific project. Now the data transfer is complete. Let's take a look at this in 3D. So under the view menu, we'll click create 3D view, default 3D view. So if we zoom in, you can see all the beam rebar as well as slab rebar has been imported from safe into Revit via the CSI Cross Revit program. Next, let's take a look at how tributary PT tendons are now accounted for in finite element-based design of slabs. First, let's take a look at a slab that has no PT tendons included. The analysis and design have been run. To take a look at the output, we'll go to Display, Show Slab Design. There are two different options, strip-based as well as finite element-based. For reinforcing direction and location, we'll select Direction 1, bottom rebar. As you can see, this is the bottom rebar intensity here shown on the screen. Now, in comparison, let's take a look at a model that has PT tendons included in it. As you can see, here are the tendons assigned to this model in both directions. If we right click, you can get detailed information about each tendon that's been assigned. Again, to view the output for slab design, under Display, Show Slab Design. We'll select Finite Element Base. In comparison, we'll select the same, Direction 1, Bottom Rebar, and click Apply. So now you can see the bottom rebar intensity for this slab, which has PT tendons included in it. For more information about the SAFE version 21.00 enhancements, please go to our website, csiamerica.com. Thank you.